in Sefton Park at the Liverpool Cross Challenge for the European Trials, the mecca of cross-country racing in the UK. In my opinion, we're going to go watch some of the races. Let's go and get in on the action. How can you smell that? Cross-country! It smells like mud. Well done. How are you feeling? Yes. He was like, yeah. So I think I'm going to try and corner some of the unsung heroes of cross country and track and field in the UK. I'm going to go speak to some marshals, the people that make sure you don't go the wrong way. Uh, hopefully speak to some coaches, some parents, some spectators. The people that without them, this would just be people free for all, like running across a field in no particular direction. So I'm going to go and speak to some of the heroes. What's your job today? I'm marshalling on a critical point. A critical point? Well, apparently it's a critical point. What what does that mean? I'm not idea. <laughs> oh no! Surely you need to know what that means if you're in charge no, of it. Do. So is it your job to make sure that people don't get lost? Yeah. Well, they don't really get lost. It's okay. all marked out anyway. And they can see you quite well. I, but my basic job is to make sure as they're coming around that they're safe yeah. and that they're, they're well. And do you give them a little bit of encouragement oh, as well yes, while you're here? I know the vests and I shout them. Some of the athletes I know. Hello. You don't mind, do you? All right, so we've got, we got Daniel Ledbitter here. The the fame! Oh, I, I feel honoured to be in your presence. What's your favourite thing about cross country, please? Uh, very little. Favourite thing about cross country? If you could pick out of all of the things that you love? The atmosphere. There's something about the, the finishing straight on a cross country. You know, everyone's been, it's been brutal, it's been muddy, yeah. but everyone's made it. I missed the men's relay trial, so can you give us a bit of a recap? For you. For me personally. And, and the so race we'll in the, general. Yeah. yeah, get your wound out. What happened? Probably a little cut. Uh, 15 mil spikes. So it's gone through like skin, muscle, bone. Yeah, pretty much. I've got half a leg left. Okay. Race. But you still won? I won in the hearts and minds of the spectators, I think. That's all that matters, right? Did you see what happened in front of you? Like, did you see like the finishing order of things? It was all a blur that last the final 200. I was in third, uh, but yeah, there or thereabouts of the turn. I was feeling good, fell, lost all momentum. So the good thing is you've got that patched up now yes. and you could just throw your spikes on and do the senior men's race, right? Did you oh. enter? Oh, yeah. oh my I, God, you I, actually were I was trying to, but Amazing. our better judgment from our coach yeah. um, has said no. Yeah, I'd say top judgment there. Yeah. I mean, I was adamant. She just gave me a look. The look. <laughs> you know the look. Yeah. Can you sum the race up for us in your best Liverpudlian accent? Chicken. Chicken. Um, Chicken. The race was all right. Badge. Becky Straw, uh, essentially in charge of this race today, just oh, overseeing okay. everything. Don't, don't put that label on me, no thank you. So yeah, what's Liverpool all about? What's the big fuss? So it is obviously a massive race on the cross country calendar, so we know what it is. Yeah, we've yeah, had it many times. I guess for me I'd say there's three league races, mm -hmm. then it's part of the cross challenge. Okay. But it's also the trial for the European cross country. Yeah. So it's a lot of things wrapped into one. This year is the biggest numbers at Liverpool ever. Really? Yeah. So I reckon it was above it was above 3,000 people here today on the entries. Wow. I mean, obviously there's some CNSs. Yeah. From memory, I think they said in the cross challenge 2,600. Wow. And that's across obviously under 11 CNSs. Yeah. Years. Um, that's a lot of people. And so I've interrupted you while you're actually doing your job here today, that's fine. Uh, which is a very <laughs> important job. Can you kind of explain what that is? My job? Yeah. Uh, so I'm a competition events coordinator. Anything that's domestic in the UK, mm -hmm. um, with the UK athletes, we help organise. I'm not going to take credit for today because obviously the officials... She literally organised the, the committee. Thing. No, I didn't organise all of it. <laughs> the officials and sort of the cross hand committee, they're out here first thing in the morning putting everything up. So Unsung heroes. So. And you get to shuttle off the winners yeah, so to go I'm and get there. Yeah, so I'm the first three, making sure they know where to go. If it's your first time, right, you finish and you're like, you might do not know. what do I do? And so is it still, it's top four that cross the line, automatic? For the seniors? I yes. think so, yeah. yeah. And there's six that go, so there'll be two reserves, but they can kind of decide. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I want to see if anyone can get like the top three. I mean, top three, if right. Jess was like labelled as top for the women's so favourite. Yeah, she's here. I mean, I've never seen, never seen Jess not run well here. So yeah. I'm going to say Jess is going to be up there. But honestly, if the others, not sure. Okay, so we've got our first prediction: Jess Jess for the win. <laughs> if that happens, you're going to be on like ITV as the octopus predicting the World Cup results now. And then I think Athletics Weekly dub got Mark Scott for the win in the men's. Yeah, I'd probably bat that. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. That's all right. We can win it next year, right, Philly? Both yeah. Oh, we'll win it. Yeah, should we make a pack? Should we make a pack? Easy, yeah. Packs. It's happening. <laughs> <laughs> 20 
2017 winner. Did I get that right? Yeah, I'm 19. Oh, as if I forgot that. <laughs> Here with Ben Connor. Have you got any predictions for women's side of things? Oh, I've got to say Lily Hunter. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll Lily see Partridge now. for the win. Yeah. And um, how's your live Pudley accent? <laughs> I'm not sure Johnny's accent's quite rubbed off on me enough, to be honest. And can you think of anything that he says that you can like mimic? Um, one of them. Um, get muddy. Good luck, Thank and you very um, much. we're cheering for you out on the courts. Just, just pretend he's not there. So here with Rob McKim. Do you want to introduce yourself? Tell everyone yeah, a bit about um, you. Yeah, I'm Rob McKim. Uh, I'm an endurance running coach mm -hmm. in Scottish. And very Scottish. Who are you here supporting today? Uh, I'm supporting a few of the athletes, uh, mm -hmm. Jess Gibbon and the uh, uh, senior ladies who's got, uh, got a good chance. Christy Walker, who's moved to Edinburgh, wearing a Scotland vest, and there's some other dark horses. But really, I like to support all the athletes who are competing today. Very, very impartial. We like it. Have you got any predictions, or are you willing to put any predictions on who you think might make the team in the men's and women's uh, races? In the men, uh, if uh, Mark Scott's running, uh, I think. He's definitely Popular in the frame. Uh, Jack Rowe, and I think uh, uh, Zach, Zach Mohammed's in with a chance, mm -hmm. as, as is his brother is as well. So I think they've got a chance to make the team. Uh, on the women's side, I think, uh, to me, Jess Judd has to be the standout favourite. And uh, as I say, Dark Horse, Kirsty. And if there's people watching who haven't come to watch a cross country race before, don't know much about it, what would you say to sell it to them to say, come and watch? Uh, you've got to love the mud. Might not feel great at the time, but afterwards, you've got all these really good endorphins that are flooding through your body, and my God, it's really hard to control. So for anyone that's thinking about cross country, just do it and you'll see the difference. I mean, you heard it here. Robert Kim, thank you very much. Sum up, how excited you are? Excited, nervous. Pumped, muddy. Cold? Are you cold? No. no. Warm. 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 Good. Yes. Feeling good. Yeah. <laughs> right. Senior women on the line. Senior women, under 23 women, European cross trial, and apparently three league races as well, which I didn't know about. So excited. There's loads of women on the start line, and it's pretty stacked. By the sounds of it, everyone's prediction is that Jess Judd is going to take the win, but only time will tell, hey? Got to watch the race. Ask you uh, some questions about where you got your shoes. Well, you know, I am a eccentric athletics fan, but my feet are always dry. So say no more. How much did they set you back? 20p. 20p. Elite. I love it. Until like really? probably coming up the last sort of what 500 meters, I yeah. started to feel good. It took a while to get moving, but yeah, I'm really happy. Finally, I felt good and then it ended. Is that always your race plan, just to sort of like sit back a little bit, bide your time, and then come through towards the end? Yeah, it's quite windy and I'm quite tall, so I kind of thought like I don't know, try and sit in, but I'm still like a head taller than everyone else. But mentally, <laughs> I think it makes you feel quite good. Ideally, I probably would have gone faster at the start, but it's just a bit too windy. And also, I haven't raced this year, so I thought yeah. if I do that and then blow up, it's going to be really embarrassing. It's exciting though. It's nice to be in it and just. Yeah. Think like just keep pushing and yeah my dad was shouting a bit at the end so I was like just keep going. Are you going to go indoors or carry on the cross? I might do the national cross but I'm going to do the roads, I'm going to do two half marathons. Oh, okay nice. Year. So that's the thing like that feels really short and I was like never in my like life do I think that would be short but I was like I want to get on the road. Yeah. <laughs> You've been doing a lot on the road as well. Yeah. Are, you, are you thinking about the marathon maybe in the future? Yeah we said 2025. 20, okay. so, yeah. So cool like yeah. to <laughs> make teams like as young as you did at 800 and 1500 and then like work all the way up to the top that must yeah, be quite cool i hope so i think yeah we're looking at maybe like a marathon in like november ish like yeah. 25 just to see because i like the track but i don't know i might do a half and then like, and if i do a couple more halves and hate it then i'll probably like hold yeah, off but yeah fine. 25 seems a long way away yeah. so i'm like oh that's fine and when i get to 2024 i'll probably be like no i'm not really yeah <laughs> pushing it back but i need to be more like you and just throw myself in it so. yeah why not so automatic queue big tick yeah, yeah. Are, you, are you happy with that yeah i'm chuffed to be honest because i knew like 
Amy Eloise and I knew like Jess Judd and Stat well and yeah. there's so many really good people. The first lap was pretty slow. I really didn't enjoy the first half to be really? honest because it's just really hard to like get into my running. Yeah, you looked pretty controlled good. though. I knew I was kind of here just to do a job, like yeah. try and get in the top six. Yeah. So, uh, Are you excited for Europeans? Yes. Yeah, How many is this for you now? Uh, this will be my third. So Amazing. Oh, well, well done and good luck in a couple of weeks time. Hello sir, how are you feeling about the race? Uh, one uh, word. Good. Uh, looking forward. One, one two, word, three, four, five. Uh, excited. <laughs> excited. Hello sir, how are you feeling about the race? Over the moon. I'm conned into it by my kids, they've done it, so it was like, Dad's got to do it, wife's done it. Amazing, are they going to be cheering you on? I hope so. Go and get very muddy. Oh, thank you. Good I, luck. I like that, thank you. <laughs> You're doing the double. You're still doing it. Man of my word. Yeah. I Made the team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, major regrets for this. I, right I missed now, it. So a classy runner yeah. here. Well, I wasn't on the camera for most of it. I was so far behind, and then Amazing. somehow came second. So yeah. Sit and kick. Yeah, this is a bit different to the 20 people that lined up earlier, though. So, so. you're gonna try and make the team in this one as well? Oh, I mean, I think that's gonna win. Disappointing, right? I, if, if the first <laughs> digit starts with a five, I'll be happy. How are you feeling about the race, sir? <laughs> yes, I agree. Very excited. Can I just ask you um, a couple of questions about your choice of footwear today? <laughs> yeah, very uh, questionable. <laughs> why? Uh, I, I didn't realise it would be so rainy. <laughs> I was going to ask if you were just passing by and just thought you'd come and watch and didn't realise that uh, this is what you are going to be doing. part of that, actually. We were at Park Run down the road and saw this was on. And, uh, but yeah, not the appropriate choice. I hope you're not attached to those shoes. No, no, not, not anymore. <laughs> at this point, you might as well just slip them off and just go barefoot. Probably the plan, get on the field. <laughs> Have you uh, got any predictions who's going to take the win here? Uh, I, can't, I don't think you can go away from Mark Scott at the moment, but we'll see. Mohamed Mohamed's in uh, really good nick as well. Mm -hmm. Emil! Yeah. Okay, Meep, that's the first vote for Emil actually. We've had a lot of Mark Scott. Nah, Emil. I'm going with Emil. Let's go lads, how are you feeling? One word! Let's go guys, how are you feeling? So, big move, Emil Caress. He's taken probably about 20 metres on the rest of them. So you've got Mark Scott, Mohammed Mohammed, and Jack Rowe just behind. So, that's the team. If it stays like that, top four automatic, and then the next two is up to the selectors. Hey sir, how are you enjoying the race today? And who do you think is going to win? Another vote for Emil. Well done, mate. How was that? Yes, uh, yeah, it was good. It was hard. Yeah? yeah? You made a break pretty early on. I know, and then uh, I thought, this is good life, but then the last lap was pretty long. Yeah. I was starting to get a bit tired. You looked really strong though. Is is the mud like an advantage for you, would no, you say? No. no, I don't like the mud at all. Really? I was panicking all week. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's been raining a lot, hasn't it? So, oh. but it's nice. I, yeah, yeah. I had a good run. Oh, what a day! Let's put some lights on. That was good fun. Nice to see some old faces. Some cracking races today. Really good watching them and chatting to people and just having a bit of a laugh, really. Nice and muddy. Tick. A little bit cold. Tick. Now having serious regrets that I didn't do my run this morning and need to go and run and eat something and drink something. So if you watched that and enjoyed it and think, hmm, maybe I'll come down and watch some cross country. Maybe I'll even race some cross country. I know some park runs can get a bit sloppy and be a little bit like cross country anyway but if you're thinking about it do it it's free to come and spectate these kind of races it's very cheap to sign up to an athletics club and do these kind of races and the races at liverpool are a great example of where you've got the elite professional runners right at the front and then people in the league races sweeping up the rear and it's really really fantastic actually having both ends of that scale everyone that's in the race is a runner and just doing the same thing i think it's 
it's really cool, something to be celebrated. So if you're thinking about it, go and get your spikes on or come down and cheer everyone on. And before you go, I need to tell you a little bit about a new social media platform that I have been using called New New. It's in its beta phase at the moment, so they're still testing things out and there's a few creators on there. Basically, the way that it works is the people that are on the platform put a video up and give you a choice about what they do or what they decide to do. So you can put a poll up and pose questions to your viewers where you're unsure what you should do. Good example of one that I did a couple of weeks ago I was going to get my hair cut and I actually let the people voting decide whether I got it cut short or whether I just got a trim. And obviously they said get it cut short. So I did, which I was pretty pleased about because I was kind of planning on doing that anyway. It's pretty cool, go check it out. I am being paid to use the platform but all of the money that I make from any of the votes from the videos that I put up will be going to charity. So keep your eyes out for a post in the next few weeks. I'm gonna get you guys to decide which charity that goes to and I'm looking forward to donating that money. So if you do vote on a poll, know that your money is going to charity, which is pretty cool. As always, love the grind. <laughs>